This is a simulation video produced by the Tulane Simulation Center regarding uh, standard technique for the third year clerkship. Uh, we will be doing three simple interrupted sutures. Each suture will have three square knots tied um, by the instrument tie technique. Start with our suture material. We are going to be using 3.0 soft silk um, for testing and visualization purposes. The students will be instructed to and required to open up the packet and to load the needle into the needle driver correctly. First the uh, student should be gripping the needle driver with the ring and thumb um, grip with the index finger used to stabilize. The student should be able to load the needle two-thirds way down the length of the needle perpendicular to the needle driver and one millimeter away from the tip of the needle driver as shown. Next, the student should be able to grasp the atsins correctly with the thumb and index finger or thumb and middle, middle finger. The student will be um, expected to know how to grab the skin edge um, with the atsins to be able to grab one layer to tent the skin up and uh, then the needle insertion should be done at a 90 degree angle to the skin. The driving of the needle should be a twisting motion versus a pushing motion as shown until the needle driver touches the skin. The needle driver should be released and the needle driver should be reloaded and a twisting motion should continue until the needle is fully out of the skin. If necessary, reload the needle properly, one millimeter away from the tip, perpendicular, two-thirds way down the uh, needle. Pull the suture out just four to five inches. Regrafts for a second bite. The student should be expected to do two separate bites. Reinsert the needle 90 degrees. And you should exit the skin two to four millimeters away from the wound edge. Again, twist the needle until it's fully out of the skin and then pull the suture material through. Pull the material through until there's about three to four centimeters left on the short end. And now we will perform an instrument tie. The needle driver should be on the inside of the suture material you can do by uh, aligning the needle driver above the wound and you will pull two loops around your instrument grab the tip of the short end one centimeter away from the tip and pull towards yourself or towards the long end the second throw again put the needle driver above the wound on the inside of the suture material this is the inside versus this is the outside. Inside of the suture material, wrap once, grab again one centimeter away from the tip of the uh, short end and pull away from you. That completes one square knot. The second square knot will start with one loop, one centimeter tip, pull through. And repeat until you've done three square knots or six total throws. When finished, you should secure your tails and cut your tail length to one to two centimeters. Make sure to rotate the scissors to visualize the blades and cut.
The second component of the third year practical and a standard technique required for all third years is the two-handed square knot. We'll start for right-handers. The short end of your rope will be above the wound and will be in your right hand. The long end of the rope will be below the wound and in your left hand. You will grab the left rope with the palm of your left hand, drape the rope over the over the back of your thumb from right to left, right to left. Use the short end of the rope to drape over from left to right. So you'll drape the short end from left to right over the back of your thumb, creating an X. You'll then pinch your thumb and index finger together, rotate your wrist or your pinched fingers towards you, release pinch the short end, rotate away from you, so the short end goes through the loop away from you. Re-grab with your right hand, and this is an important step, you will rotate your hands or cross your hands so that you will pull the short end towards you for the first throw, using the index finger of your right hand to maintain a tight, secure knot all the way down. The next row, you'll keep tension and keep tight with your left hand. You'll have the drape the long end from right to left, from top to the bottom of your index finger. You'll then use a short end to drape over from right to left, from bottom to top this time, to create your X from bottom to top. You pinch your thumb and index finger together, rotate away from you, release, pinch, and rotate towards you this time. Re-grab with your right hand the short end and for the second throw you'll be pulling away from you the short end using the index finger of your left hand to cinch down and secure your knot. This will complete your first square knot throw. As you can see, you must visualize and see this first square knot before moving on to additional throws. To visualize some standard errors to avoid, first, the air knot is caused by a lack of securing or pushing down your knot. You can pull like this without using your index finger to secure the knot, and then your second throw will come through, and if you pull too gently or don't tighten it down, you'll get space or a gap between your knot. And with that gap in place, if you then throw your next knot, you will lock in that air into that one knot, and that will be dangerous. So you want to make sure that when you do tie your knot, that you use your index finger to cinch it down tight. The second standard error is a slip knot instead of a square knot. Slip knots are caused when you maintain or pull the ropes after you do a throw upwards as opposed to pulling and tightening perpendicular and horizontal to the wound. So if you start with your thumb and you do everything perfectly fine, but you pull upwards you pull down, you, your knot will rotate on itself and when you push down, it'll slip. Then you do your second throw, same kind of, feel, same kind of thing where you pull straight up or straight down and the knot will rotate on itself and when you cinch down, you'll have a slip knot. And this is incorrect when trying to do a square knot. There are a few instances where you do use slip knots, but that is in special cases.